This is the first time that Marie has seen the mural of her sister Karen at Euston Station. In the late 70s, becoming a female train driver was unheard of, but Karen was prepared to do whatever it took, even if that meant letting them think she was a man in her application. I want to be the driver of an intercity 125. I wrote off to British Rail saying I'd like to become a train driver and I didn't sign my name, I just put Kay Harrison. But they did their very best to put her off in the interview. They said to her, well, Karen, the men, when they get caught short, they go for a plea at the side of the track, you know, how are you going to cope with that? And she said, well, I'll just have to crouch at the side of the track, won't I? Um, so I think they realised they were dealing with a formidable adversary uh, at that point. And then when she did get the job, she wasn't exactly made to feel welcome. She had some very unpleasant experiences and, you know, what you'd probably call bullying. Um, I don't think she called it that, uh, but she sort of rose above it. I mean, she was quite tough. And, uh, you know, if men were foul-mouthed to her, well, she was doubly foul-mouthed back. Undoubtedly, she was a pioneer. But even today, it's thought that only 6.5% of train drivers are female. Avanti West Coast want to recruit more women and are aiming for an equal gender split by 2030. Sadly, Karen passed away in 2011. But before she died, she was training as a barrister specialising in labour law. When you arrived today and saw that, how did you feel? I felt actually really very happy. I, it's as if she's striding out from the wall towards me and towards everybody who's coming down here. And I hope that maybe towards women in particular, they might look and think, well, actually, I could do that. That's an option for me. And she'd be really gratified if it had that impact, I think, too. Here's to Karen Harrison, train driver, trailblazer, and still inspiring women, even though she's no longer with us. Ruth Liptrot, 5 News.